Duke Police Department has added a new canine officer to their force. Local 5's Paul Evenson has more on what it took to keep this key program going on the heels of the loss of another canine only months earlier. It's a connection that can be critical when it comes to fighting crime. That's a good boy. The bond between a canine officer and their handler takes weeks of intensive training to develop. You really get to learn each other's uh, quirks and um, what they like, what they don't like, uh, what kind of companionship you're going to have. Officer Weisnick and Grand Chute's newest canine officer, Luca, recently returned from six weeks of training in New Mexico, where the pair spent long days learning the latest in search techniques. A criminal apprehension, uh, building searches, tracking for su uh, suspects in some type of case, or if it's a um, juvenile or young child went missing, um, he's able to search for and track an uh, individual like that as well. Canine Luca is a two-year-old purebred German Shepherd that joins the department roughly three months after the passing of Canine Aragon, who died back in August after falling ill from pneumonia following emergency surgery to remove a foreign body that was ingested. I didn't expect that. I didn't see that one coming at all. So um, I wasn't prepared, and it was a, a tough time for sure. The death hit both Officer Weisnick and the department hard. Canine Aragon had only been with the department since May, and the loss was felt both financially and physically. They're a fellow officer to us. You form bonds, relationships with the dogs, nowhere near to the level that a handler forms. Uh, but a patrol officer being on the street, you come into work, you see Canine Aragon daily, you form that relationship. You see Canine Luca daily, you form that relationship. And when that dog's not there, it's, it's the same as if it's, if it's a human partner. Reporting in Grand Chute, Paul Evenson, Local 5 News. Now, canine officer Luca came to Grand Chute Police Department from Germany at a cost of roughly $20,000 that the community helped to fund.